Hey everybody, welcome back. These are some hilariously dumb people on TikTok. So I got a fish at the fair last night. And as you can see, it's not in here. I just woke up, I looked on the floor. And my only thought is it could have hopped it? in here. There's a couple of drops. <gasps> no. Oh, it's not here. But then I see this. And then it gives me straight flashbacks of last night. 4 a.m. in the morning, actually. <laughs> I woke up. And I smashed this whole row of Oreos. Bro! I remember that. And you guzzled and down thinking, a goldfish? There's no way I ate a whole row with no, with no liquids. And I'm thinking, bro, I'm almost 100% sure I swallowed that fish. <laughs> I'm so sure I went. <sighs> and the fish was in there. <laughs> I have a fish in my stomach right now. <laughs> so I, uh... Can pretty much confirm I drink that water because the cup smells just like this water. Oh. And I'm concerned for my health a little bit. I looked it up and it said a fish could last in your stomach for two hours alive if you have a healthy diet. And I'm not going to lie, I did eat some blazing hot boneless wings last night. So that fish is gone the moment it touched my guts. Oh, my stomach's hurting. And the crazy thing, I haven't used a restroom all day. So I'll let y'all know if I find Nemo. <laughs> Sorry, in between the retching, did he say we need to go find Nemo? <laughs> we gotta go find Nemo in our steaming pile of duke. Okay, wait, I'm sorry. How did you not know that you swallowed a fish? Like, how did you not taste the goldfish water? How is that possible, babes? How? Wait, look how murky that water is with the gold. Oh, no, no. It's been seven hours. You good? Did you find Nemo? <laughs> If you ate those like hot wings, I feel like Nemo's gonna get broken down pretty quick in the stomach acid, if you know what I mean. Also, a fish definitely shouldn't be in a cup. Wait a second, wait a second, Cameron Johnson. All right, when you're cleaning the tanks, we put the fish places, okay? We put them safely in a cup, in a vase, vase, if you will. Did anyone else? cry ferociously when their pet goldfish died. Like it was honestly the worst day of my life <laughs> to this day. Still the worst day of my life. I was like six. This watermelon is going to embarrass me over two minutes. I'm cutting into our first watermelon that we grew of the season. Oh, that's Should a big boy. Share this moment with me? Could be bad, could be good. I feel like it's gonna be good. <laughs> That's not good. I don't think. Can you eat that? What am I looking at here? Are we sure it's ripe? So I had read that squash cannot cross pollinate with watermelons. So even though this had like grown into where the squash were growing, I did not think that was possible, but now it makes sense as to why this grew so fast. <laughs> what? I'm gonna taste it. Uh, yeah, okay, why not? For science, for science. Give it a little taste. Oh God, so ew, 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 look at that, ooh. What's it taste like, babe? What's it taste like? Rind? Does it taste it tastes like, like squash? Tastes like squash! <laughs> Ew. Like a sweet squash. I was so excited because it's like yellow on the bottom, and that's, you know, when I had to pick them. I'm also like racking my brain. Like, did I plant a squash like this? Spaghetti squash. No, no, I didn't. Guys. This is a pumpkin. No. It's not a watermelon. No. I was it so looks excited. like a watermelon. It had this yellowing on the bottom. I didn't even really think about <laughs> this up here. Um, <laughs> Wait, it looks like so a watermelon. So I opened this up and oh, I can't tell you. That explains the texture. And now I'm sad that I cut this off before it turned into its full pumpkin nest. <laughs> so, not watermelon, okay? There is one single watermelon here. Okay, right. okay. What we have growing are beautiful pumpkins. 
all over the place. Oh yeah, that girl, that's Did a pumpkin. Did I remember planting Connecticut field pumpkins? Not until I figured out that was a pumpkin. <laughs> yeah, okay. Wow, okay, but to be fair, that really, really looks like a watermelon. Like, I'm not gonna lie, that looks like a watermelon until you turn it on its side and you showed us like the stem. I fully thought that that was a watermelon, but looking inside it, yeah, that looks like pumpkin juice, pumpkin innards, <laughs> hate pumpkins. <laughs> the theme for this video is Charlotte retching. Okay, but at least we all learned something new today. Be forewarned, pumpkins look like watermelons when they are not ripe yet. The more you know. Girl cries after her dad laughs at her drawing. I'm posed for like 10 minutes. Let me see the product. Let me see. Let me see, babe. Is that me? No, no, it's nice. It's so nice. Oh, I've never, I've never looked better. Ooh, where were you? Where were you when it was time for senior photos? Mommy, I don't think it looks good. It is fantastic. Yes. Oh my God, what's that? Is that hyperpigmentation? <laughs> Just tell me, okay. You know what? I never seen nothing like this before. I just want you to just keep up, keep it up, okay? Why was Daddy laughing? Daddy don't know what he's doing anyway. That's how. That's Shut how you up, say Daddy. that's. That's a great drawing in French. <laughs> <laughs> he's like dry heaving. Shut up, Dad. Shut up. If you've ever wanted to be humble, just ask a kid to draw you. You know what I'm saying? Not that you like we need humbling. <laughs> But they, they do be pointing out things that you didn't know were glaring you in the face, like your hyperpigmentation. <laughs> Maybe that's blush or just a really big zit. This is actually such a good moment. You are, you are. Don't laugh at your artistically inclined children. They will be traumatized for the rest of their lives and they will end up making YouTube videos. <laughs> Encourage them. You know how when you ask somebody, you're like, oh, are you a beer person? Okay, let me preface this by just saying I'm an idiot. Like I'm actually, like I'm like, like when God made me, he he didn't make sure that I knew what the f I was talking about. He didn't make sure that I had like enough brain cells to understand what I'm saying. He just made me enough, like able to speak basically. So you know how when you ask somebody like, oh, are you a beer person? Or like, oh, are you like a cheesecake person? Okay, yeah, this is about to go downhill really fast. I was at the office, the office, the place where they cut my checks, the place where they pay my bills. I was asking my coworkers a series of questions to try to figure out like what type of foodie this person was. It started off with, are you a beer person? Are you an IPA person? And then I look this man dead in the eyes at the office, sitting next to my supervisor and my four other coworkers, I said, are you a Chinese person? What makes it 10 times worse? He, he's, he was, he was, the f when I say, I was like, I, wait, hold, I, I meant like Chinese food. I just meant like, cause it, how do you come how do you come back to me i'm surprised i wasn't fired on the spot for like harassment thank god this coworker was my friend and he knew that i was like an idiot and i was like i'm so sorry this is not what i meant like i meant like food i did not mean like i wasn't trying to like i, I like i understand what you, like i i'm not like that like i was just trying to like see if you like left so if you can imagine how dumb I looked. That gives you great insight on like how my brain works. You were thinking a little abstract, babe. Just a little abstract. I think the same, honestly, even when something is glaring me in the face, I still find a way to make it that much harder to understand. You guys get to witness that on a daily basis. Well, every three day basis starting in January. It's just a break. We were on a break. Okay, but like, was he a Chinese person though? <laughs> Who isn't a Chinese person? Like. Who isn't? I think most people are Chinese people. No, not from China. They like Chinese 
food, food. <laughs> top, top up, stellar comedy. Well, I did the stupidest thing I've ever done. I wanted to try a new therapist and I wanted it to have like a relaxing vibe. So I find this place and it's called La Lake Wellness Center. And I'm like, wow, that sounds so nice. I looked at a picture, there was like a bed and it looked great. I'm like, Ugh, this is gonna be so great. So I get there. It was not what I was expecting. Walking up to the door, I was a little confused because it says we don't keep money <gasps> oh, no. or drugs on site. Oh no, oh was no. Like, was it a ha like okay. halfway house? No. Check in and I sit down and there's this like guy sitting next to me with slippers. Was it rehab? Like, oh no, oh no, it was a halfway house. Oh God. So I started to like look around and I noticed there's like security guards. And I noticed that like, it's not a spa vibe <laughs> at all. <laughs> so I Googled it again and I did a little bit more research. I straight up checked myself into drug addiction rehab. So naturally I started to freak out a little bit and I was gonna leave, but then I'm like, well, I can't leave. Then they're gonna think I'm an addict who wants to leave. So you so stayed? stayed? No! I went through an hour and a half appointment with a counselor and I kept telling her like, hey, I don't even drink. I got like a blood sugar problem and I don't do drugs. And she's kind of looking at me like, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what an addict would say, babes. Honey, we always hear that. So, I get done with my appointment, so excited to get out of there, and somehow I left with a follow-up appointment, and now I had a lady call me asking me if I needed a sponsor. So the lesson that I did learn is research is important, <laughs> and um, I do not want to go to rehab, ever. Okay, I'm sorry, but like, who labels a rehab facility as a wellness center? That's really misleading, okay? I feel like they do that on purpose. Okay, but like, once you check into, just asking for a friend, once you <laughs> check into a rehab facility, like, I feel like you're allowed to leave, right? Like, unless you're there by like court or even then, even then, I feel like you can leave. I love how you felt obligated to stay. Like, girl. What is up, my mammals? I am a little sick because my brother gave me his disease. <laughs> disease. <laughs> so anyway. <coughs> right on the doorbell, okay, Amy. Right where we put the fingers. How was your day been? How was your day been? Hmm? Hmm? I hope it's been good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How has it been, guys? <laughs> Slurps. <laughs> Why do you look like Sid from Ice Age? Okay, but side note, honestly, look at her lashes. Like, can I have some of those? So I don't have to slap some fake ones on. I was so stressed out the other day, I ripped out my eyelash extensions. I was just like, no! And then I couldn't put anything on my eyes for like three days because they were just so swollen and irritable. So now I have to wear these ones because they're just growing out like nice and, just nice and short, just like that, just nice and straight. I love how we are coughing on the doorbell that people touch with their fingers. This is choice right here, elite. <laughs> Did we learn nothing through COVID? Are we just back to just coughing on everything? As a delivery driver, I will never touch a ring doorbell again. Uh, yeah, I would just knock. Just don't touch anything ever. Don't, don't be around people. I never get sick because I'm just not around people. Sorry, sorry. Can you pretend to be my girlfriend? Um, my dad's um, calling me. I'm, I lied to him. I said I'm with my girlfriend. Can you just um, be my okay. girlfriend? Um, is she Asian? No, no, white girl. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hey, Dad. Yes, I'm with my girlfriend. She's right here. Of course you can say hi. Yep, say hi to her. Um. Hello, darling. How you going? <laughs> good heavens. Isn't it a good day today? <laughs> yes, she's doing well. What are we doing today? Um, so do you want to tell him what we're doing today? 
What are we doing now? Right now we're at Starbucks getting coffee. I can't believe it. Someone spelled my name wrong again. I can't anymore. I'm dying. <laughs> this country. <laughs> That's pretty good. She's not oh, British. My girlfriend's not British. Um, by the way, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not British. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dad. I'm gonna go now. Okay, talk to you later. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Really yeah. convincing. Governor. <laughs> Good governor. Governor. Bye. So, if she said she's a white girl, why'd you? Why'd you have an Asian accent? What kind of accent was that? Like, I feel like that was like a really good Chinese accent. Close enough. Close enough. It's fine. Honestly, you sold it for me. No follow-up questions will be asked at all. Does anybody else have like specific sounds that bother them? I feel like I can already predict the comments on this. Anytime Charlotte does an accent. Anytime Charlotte yells into the microphone. Anytime Charlotte does a Southern United States accent. Anytime Charlotte makes a retching noise. Why are you here if you don't like my noises? Why? Why are you here? Because you're lying. You do like the noises. You do. For me, it's styrofoam. It's styrofoam. <laughs> <laughs> like styrofoam rubbing against each other. <laughs> All right. I'm going to try to open this. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna open this. Are you okay? Okay. <laughs> Come to think of it, I also really don't like the sound of styrofoam rubbing together, but not, not to the degree that I would throw up. Thank you, that was great. And also went with the theme of this video, which was Charlotte Retching. Yeah. Okay, so apparently, according to the comments, lots of people don't like styrofoam. I've always said I've got styrofoam phobia because my body responds similar to you. It's the worst. Wait, so I'm sorry, is this a thing? Does anybody else have styrofoam phobia? Does anyone else have a phobia where they listen to me and immediately throw up? <laughs> Good. That was good. Good job. That was funny. That was, that was funny, Charlotte. <laughs> Set fire to your hand. Poke a stick at a grizzly. <laughs> Eat a medicine that's out of date. Use your private parts as we run a bait. Dumb ways to die. Okay, wait, I can't actually sing that that well because like now I'm getting copyright claims for having like singing covers. That was on purpose, girl. You did that on purpose. There's some subtext there. You just wanted to jump on his face, didn't you? <laughs> ah, ah. to do, babes. <laughs> oh. I have got an anime on my side. Who dares to trespass? I am the king. Okay, that's enough internet for today. Sorry, I've just lost a few brain cells watching that. Subscribe!